Hello friends, welcome you all to this course on Fundamentals of Agricultural Extension. In our very first introduction, let us try to understand what extension is. When you come across the term extension for the first time, I hope you are not visualizing it as a discipline and as a profession. You might have come across this word in the context of an extension area or a box of electric extension or a file extension in case of computers. The third extension, the concept extension, what we are going to discuss about is nothing to do with these meanings that you are aware of. It is something different from the connotations that you are carrying with. But it is as a profession and as a concept, as a model of service. In this context, let us come to the literal meaning of the term extension. It is having its Latin root, ex means out and tension means stretching. So, when we try to stretch out something from an academic institution or the research institution, what can we stretch about? Obviously, it has to do something about information or a technology which the society needs or the end users need. The discussion on this particular issue started way back in the middle of 1800s wherein the age-old universities of United Kingdom, the universities of Cambridge and Oxford started thinking about so how to make use of the technologies that are being generated at the university level and how a common man can get the benefits of that. So that we can develop some scientific temperament among the people and involve them into this particular process for which they started organizing the pop popular lecture series for the benefit of the common man, wherein they used to simplify the complex research messages for the benefit of common man. And this concept, they called it as university extension. This particular concept of university extension had seen good number of modifications over a period of time. And the concept of extension that we are going to discuss as a part of this course is having one prefix as well as one suffix. The prefix that you are already aware of it is we said that it is a course on agricultural extension. The prefix is we are dealing with most of the messages related to agriculture and the suffix that is education along with extension. That agricultural extension and education. So, what all these terms are about, we'll be discussing. As I have already discussed, so it has its origin from the Oxford and the Cambridge universities, wherein they started the popular lecture series in the form of extension. And in 1873, the Cambridge University used the term extension education, wherein they started interacting with the common man, with the loaded information about the research and development activities. Now, coming to the term, it as a profession wherein we are making use of the learnings for the benefit of the society. Coming to the term agricultural extension, wherein we are emphasizing on the extension education. May it be a server or a professional activity which aims at extending scientific knowledge of agriculture to the farming community, it means we are specifying ourselves. So, when we talk of the technologies and the development of issues related to agriculture, it means it is agricultural extension. Similarly, by changing the prefixes, so there are various disciplines and the specializations that have been developed as a part of extension education that include the agricultural extension, we have already dealt about it. The veterinary extension, I hope you can easily understand the issues associated with the animal science and animal husbandry is being dealt by the veterinary extension. Similarly, the dairy extension, wherein the people associated with the farmers associated with animal husbandry will be provided the dairy extension services. Similarly, home science extension, fishery extension, forest extension, sericulture extension, and so on. So these are the specializations, but the concept of extension remains common in all these disciplines. The thing that is going to change is that as for the prefix of subject matter, the person who has specialized in these subjects is involved in extending the technology or extending the information. Extending the science for the benefit of common man is being judged by the these disciplines. Now the question comes, why should we learn this concept of extension, especially in the issues related to agriculture and its sciences? So it is being said that you cannot use yesterday's technique today and be in the business tomorrow. So constantly there is change in technology 
and the changing situation demands some modifications in the technology. There are changes in the climate, there are changes in the soil, there are changes in the demographic factors, there are changes in the need. How to meet out these changes in the society? It is only through providing appropriate information that is relevant for that point of time. And this is how extension science is an evergreen science that we can say. It needs there always because, as we have said you, you cannot use yesterday's technique today and be in the business tomorrow. Now coming to the literal meaning of the term extension in India as well as in different countries, in case of Dutch, they said that the term extension means overlitching. The literal meaning of this term is lightening the lamp for the benefit of the common man. It means you are trying to show him the way, the direction that he or she can move. In Malaysia, the meaning of the term extension is sowing the torch. In case of UK, it is advisory work, basically. Similar works are being done in all countries, but they have attached different meanings to the term extension. In case of Germany, they said that the extension means enlightenment, which means when you are loaded with information, appropriate technology, it means you are going to change your behavior. And that is what we are going to term it as enlightenment. In case of USA, the term extension means education. We have discussed this term in a different way. But USA tries to emphasize on extension means education and education means extension. In both these concepts, we are emphasizing on the change in the behavior. In case of Austria, it is furthering and in case of Korea, it is rural guidance. And in France, it is vulgarization. The French term vulgarization means simplifying the complex message for the benefit of common man. And in Spain, it is known as capacitation. They are trying to emphasize on the building the capacities of the common man so that he can be able to take up the difficult tasks in a simple way. So that's why, what is the process of capacity building? And in Indian context, it is popularly known as the process of technology transfer. The research institutes, agricultural universities, they are going to develop good number of technologies and when it is taken to the benefit of common man, so that the process is known as extension in case of India. With this, now let us conclude by telling that extension is the science of making people innovative because we are constantly giving you the updated information, the new information. Extension deals with the people's knowledge and resources and how we are dealing with the knowledge and resources that we will be coming to know in further discussions and it encompasses all aspects of life. So it is not only for one particular growth of men or women, it encompasses all aspects. These are programs for males, these are programs for females, these are programs for youth, these are programs for different sections of society. And that is how it embraces all aspects of society. And extension emphasizes on behavioral change of the target community. And that the change, what extension intends to in the entire community, so that the community can take up the decision. They can solve the problems of their own and on their own. This is all about what the extension term exactly means. Now, next class, we'll be discussing about the principles, philosophies, and objectives of extension. Thank you.